Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at another one video of Mastercam Multi Access Tutorials and Toolpath. In the multiple number of videos, we'll learn about the different kind of strategies of the Mastercam Multi Access. And today we learn a very special, a very unique strategy which is known as Port Export. So Port Export is a Mastercam add-on strategy for the Multi Access. If you have a normal Multi Access license, it will not run. You need port expert special license for this one so port expert used especially for the very deep automobiles components like as an engine and very deep undercut kind of component on a special 5-axis machine and this is the ultimate kind of tool path with the full control and easy to create before I creating the tool path first I would like to show you the simulation for this one tool path so uh, for that I just click on a back plot and play it so guys as you can see here this is the simulation for my first component for that one as you can see here this is running from this one side running very smoothly in a perfect way first from the first side after that it's going on a sec another side and it's starting to cut at the other side another side also so we will learn each and every single parameter for the port export how to do the roughing how to do the finishing and how to do the remaining all the operations so before I starting to create, uh, we have to starting to learn about the deep parameter first. I would like to delete all the operations for deleting all operations. This is my favorite one. Delete all operations and just OK. So now we have to create the tool path from the very basic and the beginning. How to select the tool and remaining all things. So at here first I have to come in a level and just on the runner geometry. It means I, if I need sometimes the uh, inside geometry. So if I can define it. If not need, there is not need to define. Okay, now we have to came if want to we want to create a tool path that is known as a port export. First, we have to come master cam mail multi access at here. This is a port export strategy. Cut a port or internal chamber of a part. So first, just defining the tool. For select defining a tool, we have to click on a right click, create a tool, and for this one strategy, we are using a lollipop tool for the creating these kind of undercut. So I just have to click on a lollipop tool, the diameter of tool, I just choose the 12 mm, the length 200, cutting length it will be same as the standard, shoulder length I also remaining the same, shoulder diameter should be 8 and the diameter should be 12 and now I just do the finishing. So this is basically my 12 mm of a lollipop tool and I will create the, all the tool path with the help of this one. Once I defining a lollipop tool, now I have to came in a cut parameter. Once I have to came in a cut parameter, it's a hard of each master cam tool path. The cut parameter is a hard of each tool path where you have to define the multiple number of two is, uh, parameters and our tool path have to be generated. So once we came on a tool path parameter, there are multiple things. First, you can define the roughing. Second is the finishing in along and third is the finishing around. So we just start to create with the help from the finishing around. So we just defining the finishing around. First thing that we have to define the machining geometry. What is the machining geometry? So I just define this and OK. Once I define the machining geometry, I have to came in a cut tolerance. I just minimal make my cut tolerance reduce the minimum value so my tool path can be generated easily. We are not defining the exact parameter like as what should be depth of cut for this one, what should be a step over for this one. You can choose according to the tool, according to the part. We are defining the parameters and how we have to use. So at here you can defining the step over value right at here. This is the tolerance value you can define right at here and at here. If you and this is the machining geometry. If you need some offset from the tool path, you can define it right at here. And I just say I just defining the finishing around. Define the surface. Define the cut tolerance. Define the step over value and just say okay. Once I say OK, now my tool path is regenerated, do the all parameters calculation and my tool path is cut done. Now I would like to show you first tool path simulation for this one. Just look at this. There is no uh, tool control is defining need, nothing more parameters are needed. Just defining a very few less parameter and tool path will be created perfectly as genuine as needed. So it's a cutting from the first side. Once it's done, tool have to be came back to the initial position. 
and after that it will start to cut to the another side so this is the start a method of the correcting the port expert toolpath now after this one we will learn the deep parameters for the port export what are the deep, uh, deep parameter which we have to consider on a proper way for defining a deep parameter I just select this one surface and select this one spline and just click on alt because this is the main area where we have to define the, all the parameters and remaining all things now I just copy and paste the same toolpath and again came to the parameters once I came in the parameters there are some different methods I would like to show you uh, the first thing is the finishing if you are choosing the finishing it will be do the finishing if you are choosing a long rough a long finishing it will cutting like this one format and if you are doing the roughing so it will cut the entire portion of my part so for example now i would like to show the roughing so in a roughing you have to define the two things uh, first is step over for the example i define five and depth of cut this is also i define the five and just say okay once i defining the roughing purpose what is happening in a roughing it will cut the entire portion uh, entire material from my ins inside of my part so as you can see look at this this is cutting like this one it is starting to cut the entire material from this one profile so this is the area uh, how the roughing will be work now i have to came the copy and paste the starting first param tool path and again i would like to show you uh, finishing around in a finishing there are some important parameter if you do want define want to define the spline so you can also dis, uh, define the spline or if you don't want to define the spline you can say automatic spline if you want to define just click on this and you can define this one from this one so what is happening uh, previously my toolpath is calculated from this one direction and now i dis, uh, define my this spline from the upper side so now look at this what is happening my tool is starting to cut from this one direction so sometimes if that is needed that my tool have to be came from the upper side or from the lower side so you can control with the help of defining of is this is plan after that now i have to came in area output type how, how would you like to create the toolpath for the top only for the bottom only or the both side for example if you are choosing the top only so what is happening my toolpath will be created on the top direction only if you would like to see uh, i would like to show you in a transparency of my geometry so as you can see it is created at the top portion only as similarly if you want to make the toolpath on the bottom only you can say select like the bottom so what is happening my toolpath created created in the bottom portion only and if you want to create the toolpath for the both side you can say both and toolpath will be created on the entire geometry so that is the uh, one of the step you can controlling with the help of area in area next is machine to how, how much we want to the machining till the midpoint maximum from the top maximum from the bottom and user define you can also define from yourself so always make sure you can choose the midpoint it will be good for us and if you have some time difficult kind of profile so you can choose that one as per your point as per your plan so basically what is the meaning of that if my tool first have to be came from the top and a second have to be came from the bottom so how my first portion will be cutting this profile and how my second tool path will uh, bottom portion will be cutting so that is basically that one control in the ad, at the here uh, how we tool have to be cut uh, like as a clam or conventional you can defining or choose from here now we have to came for the some different parameter some more parameter at here we have to came on advanced parameter in advanced parameter that is one thing is edge rolling what is the meaning of edge rolling when we are cutting a port export tool path exactly on a machine so sometimes that is happening at my the starting portion or at my the edge portion that should be not uh, created perfectly so if you want some edge rolling it means what is happening my edge will starting to cut my part with the help of edge of my tool so if sometime need you can defining with the help of this but make sure if you have these kind of profile where the surface area is right from starting from the from here to here and it is sometime extra material is available there so don't use the edge rolling if you are using edge rolling in this, that kind of condition so what will happening i would like to show you my toolpath will be uh, make some extra cut or collision will be created right at here in the next step in a tool axis control there are two methods to control we can control with the help of the five axis and we can control with the four axis make sure the port export is mostly using for the five axis of toolpath if you have some times you can also go with the four axis toolpath but when you are going with the four axis toolpath so controls and deprofile with bit 
create uh, will be little difficult to create uh, for example i would like to show you uh, i create a four axis tool path and just say okay so now look at this what is happening i recalculating this tool path and once it should be done so you will get understand an idea about that how much tool have to be created with this one so i choose a four axis tool path what is happening this area is not done with the help of this one four axis tool path so that is the one of a uh, major challenge when we are using with the four axis support so at here you can create a tool path get understand it will can be done on a four axis machine or required a five axis machine so it can you can also controlling with the help of this this is a basically collision control portion there is uh, some difference a uh, very easy parameters are available at here sometime holder the sank and shoulders and when we are came to the linking parameter so the entire code should be automatically detected the linking and it will create the remaining all things so basically this is the port export tool path for my part so i hope you get guys get understand about each and every single parameter of port export so if you have any question or any doubt please ask on comment section i hope if we can we will answer your questions and keep learning keep growing see you in the next video bye bye